Okay, so um, I set up my, my box to draw my uh, lower rear cross piece. And, um, you know, I labeled the uh, vertical lines, and I'm also going to label the horizontal lines, H1, H2, H3, H4, and H5. That's so you know that I'm where I'm talking about. So the vertical lines are just 1 to 22, and these are the horizontal lines. And I'm just going to uh, go to the, the drawing and put some uh, marks on there as well. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 21, 22. Okay, great. So now I can find my way around. So um, on this piece, uh, first of all, I notice, uh, the first thing I notice is there's a straight line across the bottom here um, up from uh, the six line right about the half because this piece is actually five and a half. So I'm just going to kind of separate. Uh, divide the line here, uh, this little box right over in the left-hand corner. I'm just drawing a horizontal line, dividing it in half, and then I'm just going to draw that line straight across. So that was that was pretty easy. Now there are two uh, parallel lines to that on uh, the the box the box here uh, in, in between zero and vertical line one and in between vertical line 21 and 22. And uh, where is that located? So this is uh, H1, H2. It's just above H2. And um, how far up is it? So this measurement over here tells me it's three and seven eighths. So it's only an eighth of an inch up, which is a half of a quarter of an inch above um, horizontal line two. So I've got horizontal line one, horizontal line two. So if I divide that line in half and then divide that section in half again, I've got a quarter, and then divide it in half again, that's an eighth, right? So I'm going to do that over here. First I'll divide it in half, then in the in a quarter, and then in half again. Something like that. Then I can take my straight edge and I can line it up so that I'm drawing um, right on that line. And I'm just going to draw straight across here and straight across here. It's very tiny, as you can tell. It's pretty tiny. OK. Um, now I need to draw my curve. So um, what I usually like to do uh, is find some intersections where it hits, uh, you know, if there's any point where it hits on a horizontal intersection, I would mark that. The other thing that's easiest to see is halfway points um, in between the lines. So, um, but this, uh, one thing about this curve is it is symmetrical left to right. So there's a midpoint and that's gonna be the highest point. And because this is 22 lines long or 22 inches long, 22 little boxes, um, line 11 is straight in the middle. And I have a, um, a measurement there, two and three eighths from the top down. So let's put that in at line 11. I go down one box, two boxes, and then three eighths. So let's do this. Let's divide it in half first right? Divide it in quarter. And then three eighths is in between that quarter mark and uh, the half inch. So I can put my just a little dot right in the middle there. Okay. And, and you know, you could erase the other ones if they're going to bother you. So I've got my midpoint. So on this side, everything should be getting uh, going down from here and going down from here. Okay. So it looks to me like we're right at the halfway mark here at line, uh, that's line 14 is at a halfway point. So I can find line 14 and I can be right at the halfway point. And if it's at the halfway point at 14, um, you know, it should be at the halfway point over here. That's uh, line, let's see. So this, yeah, I think it's this one, which is 
10, 9, 8. So 8 is also the halfway point. I'm going to put a line right there. Okay. Um, the other thing that uh, my eye sees is this intersection right here, where it's just hitting just a little bit above and a little bit below. And that seems to be line 16, 17, and 18, right? A little bit above horizontal line 3 and a little bit below. So that's 17, 18. So if I find 17, 18, 16, 17, and 18, and uh, I'm a little bit above here and a little bit below here. So kind of like that, drawing that in. Now that same thing should happen over here, right? Because it's symmetrical. And that looks like a little bit above five and a little bit below four. And we're still talking about horizontal line three. So I'm horizontal line three, a little bit above five, a little bit below four. So I've got that line in there. So I've already kind of got some pretty good indicators of where I'm going. So um, let's see. Um, if I draw a line straight across here at the halfway point in between line two and three, just above uh, and in between horizontal two and three. So let's find my my location one two. So this is two and this is three. And in between horizontal two and three, if I draw a line straight across here in the middle like that, then I've created another situation where my line goes just from the bottom just to the top, right? Something like that, right? And I think that's going to happen. Um, over here as well, uh, if I do the halfway point at 19 and 20 in between 2 and 3, so 19 and 20 in between 2 and 3, if I do a halfway point here, I should have a line that's kind of going across that, right? And I think that's probably going to be enough, unless maybe I want to put one in here at 6 or 7. So let's look at 6 or 7. Um, you know, seven looks, um, six and seven, they look like they're just a hair below the halfway point, especially seven. So let's just put this one a little bit below the halfway point. And that would be true over here at 15, just a tiny bit below the halfway point. Now let's see if we can sketch through this to get up to here, All right? That would be the highest point, and this is kind of an arc. And then here, we're going from this point, and we're going through these lines and through these points up to here. Okay. Now, you're just going to kind of sketch this best that you can, and you might end up making it a little fatter than you want to. And then you can always go back and erase the parts that look like they are not perfectly fair. Fair uh, is a boat building term, which means it's a curve that's pleasing to your eye without any bumps poking out or kinks or flat spots. Okay, so there you go. That's good enough for what you need. So you're going to cut this piece out because this here is your lower rear cross piece. Now when you cut them in wood, you're going to keep both of them because this then is uh, your first seat slab.